saw that punt return. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just didn't look it in. I didn't call a fair catch. Um, I seen the guy coming down. I was just trying to make a play out of nothing. Um, didn't look the ball in, and he made he tackled me, and I dropped the ball. How frustrating just is it to be so successful in practice in a play like that? Uh, yeah, it's just a bad mistake by me. Um, just fair, coach said just fair catch the ball, and we'll just have the ball on the positive side, you know. You know, you got an interception like you know, moments after that. Mm -hmm. How nice was that? Did you kind of go in and trying to get a turn? Yeah, I had to. I, I had in my mind like, since I muffed the ball, I have to get the ball back. So somehow, or they can't score this drive because they'll be on me. So we just, Coach T. Rock put us in a um, position to make the play. Quarterback just threw it up, and I just got the interception. You know. What about Tennessee's uh, passing attack? I think uh, I think you, you may have been there two years ago yeah. in Knoxville. Or well, two years ago here when they had the, the comeback. Uh -huh. in, the, in the game last year, you guys were pretty close. Yeah. I guess that's a pretty heartbreaking loss against these yeah, guys the last, exactly. last three years. Exactly. Um, about that, we just it's a whole different team right now. Uh, we just come into the game like prepared and we know what it, we kind of get an idea of what they're going to do and we just got to just got to um, beat them. What's the, what's the scouting report on, on Joshua, Joshua Dobbs? Uh, we didn't really, we just started like going over the offense, so we didn't really get a scouting report on anybody yet. But as the week continues, we're going to figure that out. Well, what have you seen the last two years from him? Because obviously, he had a pretty big game here two years ago against mm -hmm. the guys. Well, that was the past. I mean, yeah, yeah. he still got, he got to come in and do it this week, you know? How nice has it been to see the coaching staff put y'all in position to make big plays in the secondary? I've been good. Um, I feel wonderful, um, and I'm happy that the coaches trust me to make those plays. Tennessee's been pretty prone to making some turnovers mm -hmm. uh, this season. How, how well does that you know, benefit you guys? I mean, it, benef it benefits us a lot because we're a defense that get the ball off of people, and um, if they don't take care of the ball, we're going to take it. So. What have you seen from Tennessee on film? I mean, obviously they've had some big wins. They've had some tough losses. Yeah. They're a good um, football team. Uh, we just got to come in and play like we know how to play um, South Carolina defense and offense, put up points. We're going to be good. What about uh, the, the challenge that Hobbs presents with the dual threat? Um, he presents his legs and arms. We just got to contain him and then get the ball off of him when he throws it. The confidence of winning Saturday, and I know you guys still put up, you know, I know you want to shore up some things that you allowed, you know, 28 points against UMass, but still just, just the confidence of winning where, where you hope it'll take you the rest of the way. Yeah, um, if we eliminate our mistakes, I feel like we have a good chance of winning. How much is the physicality ramped up since the Georgia game? Oh, a lot, a lot. Um, physicality level is way up there. I mean, we tackling every day, not every day, but most of the time we're going forwards and tackling and just trying to make sure we wrap up the backs and fit everything right. Is this the kind of week where that could pay dividends? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because we know they got a good running back, you know, um, number one, yeah. third, and number six. I mean, we just got to come to play. Actually. Where does number one stack up against the guys y'all have seen so far? Um, he's a good back, but, I mean, we we seen – Probably better bats like Nick Chubb, you know, Sonny Michelle. Is there a, a mindset involved in, with facing a big back? I mean, it's just a big dude. Um, not really. We're just going to make the tackle. When you see Tennessee on film, do you see a turnover prone? Yeah, a lot of violators loose with the ball. Um, quarterback throws up. They try to get the jump ball, 50 50 ball. We just got to get the ball off them guys. What runs through your mind when you see that on film? Uh, I just gotta make a play when it's presented to me. So a lot of excitement on the sideline Saturday, especially after Jake threw a couple of touchdown passes. Yes, Has that um, excitement carried over into practice? Um, actually, everything washed off clean slate now, and now we're focused on Tennessee. So what happened last week, we're not trying to focus too much on it, but just build off of it and keep it rolling. To a challenge is the way their offense operates and the fact that they, they like to have those tight ends that are kind of, mm -hmm. uh, they could be receivers or tight ends. How, how much stress does that put on you as potentially a nickelback? Um, not a lot because the tight ends, we going to challenge the tight ends basically. And in, in the outsides, I feel like our DB should be able to hold up their receivers. Is this the kind of week where, with, with how good that running game is, you guys have to be sort of a little extra focused on the fact that you know, you're going to have to make those tackles probably. Exactly. Yeah, exactly.